for those of you who have been following my videos, um, actually, let's go way back. 2008, I came into possession of a Canon PowerShot SX10IS. That camera has had to um, enter the shop several times for essentially what amounted to a zoom mechanism that would lock up and essentially cause the whole camera to crash. And that happened three times. Excuse me. So I had it in the shop twice. And on the third time, I thought, forget it. You know, so after that had happened up until, which was last summer, up until about February of this year, I was shooting with a Canon, or with a uh, Nikon Coolpix 8800. I've got a full video on that if you would like to see it. And thankfully in February, I ended up with a, um, I ended up getting a Canon PowerShot S100. Now this is not a typical point and shoot. This is not one of those just set and forget type deals. I mean you can make it one of them. But the main market for this particular kind of camera is somebody who already has a digital SLR or somebody who wants a um, camera that has full manual control because that is exactly what this offers you is full manual control over everything. Shutter speed, aperture, ISO, white balance. Um, it's a really great little camera. The only shortcoming is battery life. It's, uh, the battery life stinks. Um, but thanks to the generosity of an uncle of mine, I now have my very first digital SLR. This particular body is the Nikon D70, which for those of you who are familiar with the more off current offerings, the 90 and the 7000, the D70 was their predecessor. The D80 was in between them. So basically it went 70, 80, 90, 7000, and supposedly the rumors are of a 7100. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But this is a $1,200 body. And I've got the kit lens, the 18 to 70 millimeter. I went out and immediately bought a filter for it. Um, got a spare battery pack. But this camera is just fabulous. I have been really enjoying my time with it. I have um, always used the viewfinder. And this, com this uh, camera does not have live view. Now, what does live view mean? Well, on a camera such as the PowerShot S100 or your more basic uh, point-and-shoot camera that has this kind of form factor, you frame your, you frame your um, shot using the display on the back. Well, on the D70, the only way you would use the display on the back is for menus and previewing what you've already, or reviewing what you've already taken. In order to compose your image, you must use the viewfinder, which I think is just grand because the viewfinder um, works in such a way that um, light comes in through the lens, bounces off of a mirror up into a pentaprism, or I guess in this case a pentamirror, I don't think it's a full prism that's in there, and back out through the viewfinder, which means that what you see is what you're going to get. This thing is incredibly fast, it's incredibly just a lot of fun to shoot with. Um, I'm going to do a full review of it later on, but this is more of an update video as to where I've been with photography for those who are interested. I'm going to show you some sample shots. This I got on a rather um, interesting evening. We only got five minutes of rain, then a rainbow pops out. Got this uh, really nice shot of some daisies here, and you can take a look at the bokeh. Now keep in mind this particular, I believe this was at f4 or 4.5, but you can see the daisies in the background are kind of blurred, and the one in the foreground is in focus. This is one effect that I've always wanted to achieve. This is one of my favorite photos that I've taken so far with the camera. You can see the lilies here just pop in the center of this frame. Here's another one. Yeah. 
So these are just some sample shots, excuse me, that I've taken. And um, I'm curious as to what you guys think. But no, these, um, these are honestly some of my favorite shots that I've taken with the camera. And I absolutely love the D70. In fact, I'm already looking at a secondary lens for it, and I think I'm going to go with the Micro Nikkor 40mm 2.8. Um, because I have discovered that one of the fa my favorite subjects to shoot is flowers, along with landscape shots, as you saw there. But um, that's basically an update. Feel free to comment on my photos and uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome, and have a nice day.